latent class analysis now here we already have our data by the way please remember to subscribe and uh, share and like this uh, from 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 this uh, channel you are most welcome so latent class analysis first of all you must make sure that your data is already put in in the program as intended and uh, as it should be so before what latent class what latent class what latent class analysis is is a stat statistical method used to identify subgroups or clusters of individuals based on their responses to categorical variables it is very particular particularly used for understanding heterogeneity in the population and identifying distinct groups with similar response patterns okay so prepare your data said prepare your data said prepare your data said prepare your data now to follow well this um, this video please make sure you have installed uh, this program SPSS on your computer and you open and follow these instructions for you to successfully do this latent class analysis for your data ensure your data is formatted correctly correctly for latent class analysis and uh, typically this involves having categorical variables where each variable represents a response category start your spaces and open your data sheet uh, that's a very primary uh, step as i said you must make sure that your data is well put make sure all variables are correctly labeled and coded as categorical uh, access to the latent class analysis tool now to access this one you must go to analyze i hope you can see analyze here and there will be a menu pop down uh, popping down or drop down analyze then go to classify classify then choose latent class analysis latent class analysis okay classify mm. Latent class analysis. Okay. Well, two step class uh, cluster analysis, of course. <coughs> In the latent class analysis dialog box, this box here, move all variables that we want to include in the analysis. Uh, from the left box from the le left box available variables to the right box variables in the model ensure that these variables are categorical and they represent the observed responses of individuals so you move these variables by clicking double clicking them or clicking one and clicking on the cursor to the box you want to move to okay so move all variables that you want to include in the analysis from the left box to the right box ensure these variables are categorical they represent the observed responses of individuals <coughs> click on the options we have options here on the right on this dialog box to specify additional settings so now when you click here you'll have additional settings which are um in this dialog that uh, in the second dialog box which will pop up set the number of iterations for the algorithm to cover it to converge the default is usually sufficient but you can increase it for complex models okay so we can say continue SPS spss us typically uses random starting values but you can also specify custom starting values if you need uh -huh. now after finishing you can click ok you can click ok and uh, choose what specific results you want to obtain class membership probabilities parameters estimates etc okay now to run the analysis you click ok as you have done and the SPSS will perform the analysis and generate output okay so here is the 